Hi guys, welcome back to Victory Gardens by Rain. I'm Rain and today I want to talk to you guys about potatoes. Uh, I am getting ready to plant my potatoes and I thought maybe you guys would like to learn a little bit about that and so uh, that's what we're going to talk about today. So I went to my local hardware store um, and they had out seed potatoes and so I went ahead and I got me some and now in zone 78A it is time to plant your potatoes. We're a little bit on the back side of that meaning it's kind of declining on the prime time for the first round of potatoes but don't let that um, inti intimidate you because you can plant potatoes all throughout the year for succession planting um, and I tend to start with my red potatoes first, which this is red Pontiac, this variety, uh, because in my experience, they don't store as long as some of the other p varieties of potatoes that we'll plant. Um, so I tend to start with my red potatoes and then I'll harvest those and then stagger out my plantings of my other varieties. But anyway, um, Let's just get started. This is just a quick growing guide. I'm not gonna go into too much detail and nerd out over this with you guys. Uh, I just wanna give you some tips and tricks about um, what I do in order to grow potatoes. So the first thing that I do is a few days, a week or so before I get started, I do something called chitting, which is where you cut your potato to where there's several eyes you see these little dots right here these are called eyes and this is where the sprout of your potato is going to grow from and this is what comes through the ground and turns into the foliage that you see when you grow potatoes now um I grow my potatoes in a very no-nonsense type way I don't do any kind of maintenance on it. Um, I'm not a big hiller. I don't hill my potatoes. I don't do anything like that. I just make sure that when I plant them, I'm going to make sure I plant these with the eyes straight up and then I plant them anywhere between six. Jackson's helping me fill up some beds that we're building. But I plant these anywhere between six to eight inches down in the ground. So I plant them deeply to begin with so I don't have to worry about maintaining the filling it up with soil and that type of thing because most of the seed potatoes that you buy from your regular hardware store is not indeterminate potatoes they're determinate and yes there's two different things two different varieties um, determinate means that that is only going to produce a certain amount of potatoes just like with tomatoes um, and that, you know, what you put in, like what, let me try to think of what I'm trying to say. It's already predetermined how many sprouts are going to come off of this potato uh, because it only has so much energy to give because it's the, the um, in, or I'm sorry, the determinate variety. Okay. Again, most of the varieties that you get from your seed store is determinate, but if you go and you're looking for um, like online and you look at different seed companies, they can offer you indeterminate potatoes and those are the ones that you'll actually hill up and do what you need to do with um, as they grow to get more potatoes. I bought a hundred pounds of potatoes, so of seed potatoes. So that means for every seed potato, hi. hi. <laughs> For every seed potato that I get, there's a, th you get, I think it's like a pound, for every pound of, it's on thirds. So for every, for every pound of potato, you get three pounds grown back from it. Um, so that, that's gonna be plenty of return for me. I would much rather get a determinate variety and um, do the lowest maintenance to get my harvest then have to go back and do all kinds of extra work just not here for it so essentially what i'm trying to say is that um i just bury my potato 
and forget about it. All right. Now, when I get ready to plant my potatoes, I do some soil prep work where I take um, the Espoma Garden Tone and I put it down in the soil to make sure it has a granular fertilizer in it. Now, this is soil that we just got. It's a mix of half topsoil, half compost, so there's a lot of nutrients in it anyway. Uh, but I go ahead and put my granular fertilizer in there because by the time these guys sprout and they're ready to put out roots and everything, they'll be able to feed from the uh, available nutrients that are in the compost. And then as the granular breaks down, they'll have that food as well. Uh, but the trick uh, with growing potatoes is you leave them alone. Just don't do anything to them. Don't even, don't even look at them sideways. Just don't. Potatoes are going to do their thing. Uh, just make sure that you keep your beds nice and weeded and then you're good. So once you have your soil, you know, a nice good soil mix in your bed, this is a raised bed. Um, I stand by what I'm sharing with you today, even when you're doing in-ground beds. Um, just plant them six to eight inches deep and um, make sure you put a granular fertilizer in there and, or a lot of organic matter. And then the secret, are you ready? Do not water them. Do not water your potatoes when you plant them. They are going to, the, the natural moisture from the soil um, is going to activate this tuber this, to um, start growing its sprouts. And then the roots are going to come out here around this part. They're not gonna come out of this whole um this cut side they're actually going to come out of the skin on the um outside of the potato and then once the root development hits which is several weeks like a couple of weeks then you'll start seeing the green growth S water your plants once you see green growth coming from where you planted your potatoes if you water them in or if you water them as you go throughout the um, waiting period of seeing your sprouts, that gives a lot of potential for this um, seed potato to rot. So a couple of days ago, well, actually it was like a week ago, uh, me and my friend, Emily, we chitted and chatted, which I think is hilarious. <laughs> um, it, she totally put me under the butt, like she was a cutting machine, all right? I'm over there yammering, so she mostly did the chitting and I did most of the chatting. I don't know if you guys are surprised by that or not, but uh, we had a lot of fun cutting these up and getting them ready and putting them in a dark place, which was my the, a table on in my shed and um, letting them dry out. So this is completely, I don't know if you can hear that, that's completely dry and you can see around the edges. Kind of, let's see if I can get that to focus. It's really kind of crusty around the edges. This is the, the best time to plant them because you don't want the soil to touch a raw potato because that's going to, again, activate, activate the microbiology that's in the soil. This is actually a better um, picture of how dry they are. Uh, so that's a really good part that you want done. Um, and then, <laughs> Jackson's getting my tool out of my bucket. But, um, and then you just plop these suckers in the ground, cut side down, eye side up. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so I went ahead and um, laid these out because I wanted to see how many fit in a four foot bed and it's so not putting, a dent in my potato seed potato so um stash so i'm actually going to do this one bed for this video and then uh once we get more of the eight foot beds done that's where i'm going to be putting my potatoes to put more in one spot you know um but the there's about let's say five ten 15, 20, 1, 2, 3. There's 23 little chitted pieces of potatoes in this two foot by four foot bed. They're about six inches apart and um, that's a little close.
for potatoes, you want to plant potatoes, depending on how big they are. When you chip them, the general rule is to cut them in the size of a, a regular egg. Okay, so you don't want to go any smaller than that unless you have a specialty variety. Um, but you want to put about 9 to 12 inches between a potato, between each potatoes. But I can't talk. You, see, you hear what I'm saying? All right, we're just going to move on. So anyway, this right here um, is about six inches apart, but I am going to harvest this as new potatoes, meaning that once they start showing that they're growing into potatoes about each just big, then I'm gonna go ahead and harvest them out, which you can figure that out as you move the um, soil around and you can see when potatoes start to develop. Usually they'll develop after the foliage is about 12 to 15 inches high and they'll start putting out blooms. Um, a bloom on a potato looks very similar to an eggplant bloom if you've ever seen that. Um, when I first saw one it looked very um, out of this world-ish like it looked like what I imagine you know another planet flower looks like which I tend to let my imagination go crazy with stuff like that <laughs> but it was a very unique flower but it doesn't necessarily flower for them to be ready to grow because they're just going to grow from day one it's just going to start doing its thing and you can harvest potatoes pretty much any time after the foliage is about 12 to 15 inches tall um, and then it just depends on how big you want your potatoes to be once you start seeing foliage and you water those potatoes, that really kind of determines how big your potatoes are gonna be uh, because potatoes are mostly water, right? And so um, you wanna water well once a week or so, uh, make sure that your soil is well draining so that the potatoes don't sit in wet soil because they will rot. Um, and then that's all you do. Like you just kind of leave them alone you know what I'm saying? If it rains that week, don't even worry about it. If it looks like the soil is dry, then leave it alone. <laughs> um, I Potatoes are tough. They are so tough. I tend to encourage people um, who's never gardened before to put the potatoes that are stashed in the back of their pantry in the ground and watch it grow and do nothing. And you will have a very easy win and you'll get the bug the the I want a garden bug because uh, it's so simple the best thing about tubers like this are are um you know yeah tubers um is they they do the work themselves they the potato itself is going to water the eyes until the potato is gone and then they put out roots and then the roots pull the nutrients from the soil and as long as they're in an environment to where they can get water every once in a while and um, sun, then you're good to go. So anyway, we're well, gonna go ahead and plant these and uh, sh kind of show you. I, w I went ahead before this video because I wasn't thinking um, and I took a good heaping handful. I don't really measure this stuff is, is pretty um, mild, but a heaping handful and I mix it in to the top probably three inches of the soil right here um, so that it would have available nutrients as it rains or as it gets watered naturally. Like I said, I'm not going to water these potatoes um, until I start seeing growth. And then I'll water pretty regularly, like once a week or so. Um, so anyway, I went ahead and did that, scratched it into the top few layers of the soil. And now all I'm gonna do is push these potatoes down uh, about six to eight inches and then cover the soil back up and then I'm done. So just in case you didn't know this, um, I have a tiny little chicken, but this is about six inches right here. And so I just bury my hand down in the soil. And then once I get down in there, I just plop the potato down. So I just take the potato, put my hand all the way down into the soil. Boom, there it is.
All right, guys, there you go. That's it. So the only other thing um, that I'm going to touch on here today for this video is, you see now, we have um, planted the potatoes, but there's all of this available space right here on top of the potatoes. And so um, I'm actually going to ponder over what I'm going to plant on top of it because I don't believe that um, you should leave available space open in your garden when you have a chance to grow some food there. So I am going to go look through my seeds and probably plant some radishes or something very quick that will come to, or lettuce or something like that, that I could do um, to use this empty space while those potatoes are sitting there because it takes them a while. It'll take them, you know, at least a couple of weeks before they even activate. And then um, it'll be another couple of weeks for the sprouts to come up to the top of the soil. And by then I could have a whole harvest of lettuce or I could have a whole um, harvest of radishes, um, which by the way, if you don't like radishes, which I don't, I don't, I, I don't like radishes at all, uh, raw. However, I love radishes when I put them in the oven and they are roasted. So anyway, um, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today as I plant potatoes. I'm so thankful that you're here. Please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button to support this channel. Um, and also, if you can make a comment in the comment section down below, just so that I know you're here and just kind of familiarize myself with some of you all. Um, and I really encourage you to uh, put your tips and trips tricks down in the comment section so that we can learn from each other because uh, I'm I love to learn I love to learn what God does in the garden and I love to learn what you all have walked through so again thank you so much for being here today I hope you guys enjoy planting your potatoes and let me know how it goes y'all have a blessed day okay so I forgot to tell you a very important thing make sure you label your potatoes <laughs> and anything that you plant. So, boom. Have you planting? <laughs>